Hi everybody, it's Joe from Lucas. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. We got some fun stuff that came in. One, of, I think one of the most creative labels that's out there. We got Rich and Deanna and- Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kent, yeah, Kent's yeah. gonna join us too, we okay? Know. We know. So this is, you know, we're gonna talk about Freak Show today. If you guys just move a little bit so you see the display, Absolutely. we're gonna give away a bike. Okay, this is some fun stuff, but let's talk about the wine. So the wine is really, that's the most important part here. Come on back in guys, so they yeah. can see you all. Don't be hiding. All right. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna start out with the Chardonnay. So let me just bring that one out there so you guys can see that one. So look at those labels, check those labels out. I love those labels. This is great for Halloween too. So we're gonna start out with the Chardonnay. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, actually, if you don't mind, I'll tell you a little bit about Michael David first before the show. Okay, next. fire away. I'll kind of take now it's no longer the Joe show. <laughs> it's the Deanna show. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, so Mike and Dave Phillips are brothers, and they are sixth generation now with Mike's uh, kids, uh, sixth generation farmers in Lodi, California. So this is all family owned and operated. Um, Excellent. And we, we also love got that. the American Winery of the Year from Wine Enthusiast for 2020. So really cool thing. Okay. First time a Lodi winery has gotten that honor. Awesome. Um, and our Chardonnay, we affectionately call our Chardonnay Madison. That's what we've named the mermaid on the label there. Um, but it's a really fun Chardonnay because it's about 50% malolactic fermentation. So you get some of that butteriness and creaminess to it. Um, but then it's about 30% stainless steel and about 70% um, oak fermentation. So, okay. And both French and, and American, both new and used oak. So it's a really nice mix there. Um, it's got a nice gentle nose. Nice Please, balance. Kent, since you're here. Yes. <laughs> balanced, tropical, soft and pretty. Mm -hmm. That's the way I would say it. It's, it's a little buttery, a little oaky, but not much on the oak, which I like, but the butter is definitely there. It's all about that beautiful guava pineapple. Yeah, guava I think the pineapple. balance is really one of the things that you look for in a, in a wine like this. Speak up just a little bit, Rich. You're talking like Kent now. Hey, so hey. sorry about that. <laughs> I'll bring out the inner New Yorker in me. There you go. Now that's so working. A, uh, so what I love about this Chardonnay is that it has a great balance to it. Um, there's no one element of it, like the oak or the butter or something that just overpowers everything else. Uh, those elements are in there, but it's not one note. It's uh, a lot of different notes. So you have something that's really, really tasty, really easy to drink. And um, I don't know, I think a, an excellent example of a Chardonnay in this, in this price range. I think it, 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 it's a fourteen ninety nine. It, it definitely a Great smooth finish. Mm -hmm. it, it goes, I don't get any of that in the back of the throat. You know what I mean? When I don't like a wine, I, it kind of lingers there. This is, bite. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So there's no bite, very delicate, very nice bottle of Chardonnay. Great label. I think this is the Chardonnay we have to drink through the through, through Halloween for sure. Sounds yeah. good. Ken, tell me what we're pairing it with. Oh, this is gonna go with the cheese board. This is one of those that goes with the nibbles. Anything that's coming across the um, the buffet table, this is that kind of wine. It goes with everything, you know? Really does. I mean, you can really do this with a burger and it would go, wow, <laughs> this is good with a burger. What, so, what about the couch? Well, this will pair with the couch, <laughs> and I think that's important. This is just a nice drink in Chardonnay. Yeah, excellent. Well, with a binge watching something on Netflix. Ah, yes. now we're talking. That's excellent. <laughs> so let's let's jump to this one, Kent. I'm going to give you. Well, let's check these labels out. The Six Sense. That's yeah. pretty cool. Six Sense is super fun. Six Sense is our oldest uh, wine that we've been making, actually. Okay. So it was Would in you the, do the early honors 2000s course? that we released Six Sense, but a new uh, revamp on the label just happened on this 2018 vintage. I'm sorry, 2019 vintage. And now this is a Shiraz. Is that 100%? This Shiraz, it's got a touch of Petite Shiraz. Okay. I like to say that Petite Shiraz is really our thumbprint varietal. We've got a lot or a little Petite Shiraz in almost every red wine that we make. Okay. So it grows really well in Lodi. It adds a little bit of spiciness. Um, kind of baking spices, cloves, a little bit of cinnamon. A lot of times I get from the from the petite Syrah, mm, mixed okay. in with the Syrah. Oh, the black pepper just jumps right out at me. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I get like a dark fruit. What am I Absolutely. picking up there? Black, the black cherry. Black cherry. And, That's and right. Even kind of like fig mm. sometimes I get. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is beautiful. It's, it's got pretty. great depth. It does. It's yeah. got an incredible amount of flavor. But it's got a little grip on the back end, doesn't it? It does. It just it's coming bit. now, yes. Yeah, it's a, absolutely. Oh, this is, awesome. so what really, are, really nice. What am I pairing with this? Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah. Grill all day <laughs> with this. Long. Yeah, right. <laughs> even stuff that's going to have barbecue sauce. Yes. This will handle it, definitely. Yes. Oh. See, for me, like uh, some of the famous places where Syrah grows uh, in uh, the 
Rhone Valley, where you get stuff from the Northern Rhone, and that can be very uh, it can be vegetal. It can be really, really uh, intense uh, when you get Syrah from up there. And then you have Syrahs from Australia, which can be really barbecue, sort of like barbecue sauce. Okay. A lot of, uh, you know, sticky. Re really sticky, sort of like huge wine. And this falls, uh, again, sort of in between there, where it's really, really drinkable. It's really smooth. Again, you don't have to pair it with something. Right. It's you a can just have that. You can just have a glass of it. And that's one of my favorite things about California wine in general. You can it's just drink a glass or two. 100%. Right. Short ribs is what comes out to me. Yeah. Like short ribs. Ray oh. short ribs. <laughs> All yeah. the way. That sounds great. <laughs> Ooh, that would be good. Is there a Chinese place? I was just going to say, where did we eat it, right? Nice, nice. Awesome. It'll pair really well with in and out Burger, bro. Yeah, really. And again, what I, again, when I get back to these wines, and this one is $15.99? Yep. Mm -hmm. What I like about these wines, again, is that very smooth finish. That's so important to me when I'm drinking a bottle of wine. I don't want to get that that bad taste in my throat. I just I, that's kind of a turnoff for any yeah. wine, regardless of its price point. This is just this is very nice. And again, I, I I say this pairs with the couch too. I always say that because I want people to know they could just drink this. Absolutely. And it's not heavy, right? right? So you could drink it in the summer, you drink it right through Halloween night. But yep. It's not week one either. Mm -hmm. no, it's not like. Something that's watered down, or you know, it's got a lot of concentration, a lot of texture in the mouth. Delicious. I think that's yummy. They're crowd pleasers, you know, that's is what the way I look at it. If you don't know, you're going to di to a dinner party, you're not sure of everyone's tastes. Both the Chardonnay and the Syrah can go really well and just kind of please everybody from the I, I from the novice to the connoisseur. Absolutely, and they're easy drinkers. So, Excellent. Kent, pull, what do we got over here? We're going to do the red blend. Oh, do you guys come We've in? Also don't forget Zinfandel. So let's check these out. I still. So you guys know them, and they're all, these are all $15.99. So we got the Zinfandel. Nice old vine Zin, about 60 year old vine uh, Zinfandel on the on the Zin, touch a petite straw. Um, and then our red blend is a straw, petite straw, and a little bit of Carignan blended into it. Oh, nice. Excellent. And then okay. the, that's the, Cabernet. I would say that's the flagship, right? The flagship, I mean, absolutely. Guys, this um, is one we've been drinking for a really long time. This is a great cab. We are most well known for our freak show Cabernet and for our petite petite, oh, especially uh, here in Colorado. Those yes. are our two top selling wines. Um, the Cabernet, touch a petite straw, but it is, um, um, it's actually the number three uh, Cabernet in the country between $15 and $20 retail. Nice. Petite Petite is Petite Straw and Petite Verdot. So really fun varietals uh, going Super together. Super easy to drink. And while it says Petite Petite, it is not a small wine. So no, no. do not be misled. It is a big, bold uh, these are, guy. These are fun wines, guys. Hey, we're also changing the front of the store, um, which is really going to be awesome. we got a lot of stuff coming from Freak Show that's going to be on the front of the store. Oh, yeah, that's um, great. We and we're going to get these onto the tasting counter so we make sure everybody could taste them. But we wanted to, when you come in, you'll see it right to the left of you. When you walk through our door, you'll see that display. Put your put your name in for the bike. But most importantly, you got to try these wines. These are great wines, mm -hmm. right? They deliver. Every bottle delivers, which I like it. So which, whichever varietal that you like. I thank both of you guys for coming. I truly do. I appreciate it. Thanks Absolutely. For us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and Kent's here too. And okay. Don't your coupon too. So oh yeah. Oh yeah. Forty eight dollars on twelve bottles of Michael David. So, so how do we do that? You just save your receipts. It doesn't have to be all in one stop. And so every time they come to Lucas to buy, buy two bottles here, six bottles there, save the receipts, and then mail in the receipts with this and get a $48 check. That's awesome. So That's pretty good. That? That's awesome. That takes How long does that go for? Through the end of the year. Perfect. So we'll, we'll make sure if you need one of those, we'll get you that. Absolutely. So, hey, guys, this is this is a wine we definitely should try. If you haven't tried it, it's they're all really great wine if you like that varietal. They're great wine to drink. Pretty awesome. Again, thank you very much. Thanks, Joe. Got it, guys. Thanks thank you, you Kent. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, Got check it, that bike out. Thank there you. Let's see if we get Kent. We'll get Kent out of the shot. And, you see and, that. We'll get, and we'll get Joe on the bike. And that'll be the video hey, uh, next time. Hey, just remember, guys, we truly appreciate your business one bottle at a time. You guys have an amazing day. We will talk with you soon. Don't forget to like and follow us. And always leave comments. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers, guys.